Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing an updated shoe collection for you all. I have had so many requests to do this video so I thought I would pull it together. I think I'm going to make this a little bit of a yearly thing. So I decided that today I'm just going to go through all of my designer shoes because you guys know I have a huge addiction to shoes and I think if I included all of them we'd probably be here all day. But I wanted to just quickly mention before we jump into it that I am selling a few pairs of shoes. So if you're a European size 40 and you're after a new pair of jazzy designer shoes then you can um, click the link down below in the description box which will take you to my Ticktail store and you can check out the ones that I am piling with there but I'm gonna jump into it and I'm gonna start with boots because it is winter at the moment and the first pair of shoes are these Acne Studios Jensen boots now I've had these for two years now I want to say and I got the pebbled leather they have this um, elasticated strip down the sides which really helps you get them in on and off and then at the back they have a tab that says Acne Studios which again helps to put the shoes on and off and I think the thing that really sets these apart is this metal bar detail around the toe I just think it's really really a simple detail but very classic and I really like it one thing I will say about these shoes is that the uh, sole does wear down massively on the toe maybe it's just me and the way I walk but I have noticed that and I have had them resold two times so far and these have been one of those shoes I reach for a lot in the colder months, definitely. Um, I wouldn't actually buy these full price if you are thinking of splurging on these. I'd wait until the sales or I'd see if you can buy a pair second hand because honestly I just think that they're a bit expensive for what they are and I'll tell you why in a minute. But um, I do think they're really, really nice. I'm glad I have them but I managed to snag them for half retail price. so. To me, that seemed like a much better deal. But yeah, those are the Acne Jensen boots. Now the reason why, and these aren't actually a designer shoe, but I thought I'd just give them a little shout out. The reason why I wouldn't uh, spend full price on the Acne boots is because you can get basically the same shoe from Mark Fisher. And these are actually suede. Um, and they look pretty much identical and they're also just as comfortable as the acne boots if not more so and they're also real leather and everything like that. I obviously haven't worn these as much but I can't really see them wearing too differently. I do think that the leather is a lot softer. Uh, I wouldn't recommend getting the suede if you do decide to pick a pair of these up because I have gotten marks here. I don't know if you can see that but I think that these are a great alternative and they are a fraction of the price of the acne ones so definitely worth looking into if you think that the acne ones are a little bit too expensive. Totally get it if you need to have the real thing though. Now the sex pair of shoes is looking a little bit worse for wear. They are these loafers from Stuart Weitzman. I bought these when I was working at David Jones and they were such a great investment. They have this cute tassel detail on the toe which unfortunately my cats have attacked so they're looking a little bit frayed but I've worn these you know rain, sun, just miserable weather. They've kind of gone through everything and they've held up really well, particularly given that they are suede. They have a nice little block heel as well. These are ultra comfortable. I highly recommend them if you can find a pair. I really like the way that these look with little black dresses or with trousers. I think they really jazz up an outfit and definitely are a kind of, I guess, an elevated look on the loafer and a heeled loafer at that. Really love these and yeah, super comfortable. They fit true to size as well. Next, I think we'll move on to more of my heels collection and we'll start with the Valentino Tango Pumps. These are a black leather, very basic pump with an almond toe and they have a strap around the ankle. I absolutely love these, although honestly I don't wear them as much as I used to because I've got the day heel from Everlane which I tend to reach for a lot more just as I feel like it's so much easier and ankle straps can cut you off a little bit so I do kind of keep that in mind but I really like the way that these look. I think that they're made from a really really high quality kind of thick sturdy leather. They do give a little bit. I have quite wide feet and I do find that these pinch just a bit. It's not enough to stop me from wearing them but they look really fantastic. I've worn them heaps. I've walked in them heaps. I do have a rubber sole on them which I think helps to extend their life and again I got these in my usual size and I have been eyeing up the nude patent version in the slightly higher heel height. I just think they look really nice but definitely a great 
classic staple shoe. Next we'll talk about my most recent shoe edition and it's these Paul Andrew heels. These are a slingback shoe and you guys will have seen them on my blog. Um, I'll insert photos but also a cutaway of what they look like on. Um, I have worn these in other videos before but they're a suede pointed toe pump with an elasticated uh, strap at the back and they have a little kitten heel which I like. These are really easy to walk in. I find that they're really comfortable because of the heel height. Um, I don't feel any pressure. As you can tell I have a bit of an affinity for suede shoes just because I do have wide feet and I do have some issues with um, my left foot. I find that it's a lot easier to just go for suede because the fabric does give a lot more. Um, that's just my personal preference. Obviously it's a lot more high maintenance. <laughs> But I adore these, they again fit true to size and I'm really glad that I picked these ones up. Next are these shoes from Celine. These are sort of like a basic pointed toe pump. They have an ultra sharp point on these. They're in a taupey brown kind of colour. I got these from The Real Real. They're actually my first ever purchase from there and what sort of hooked me on the whole website. But I love these. They're in basically perfect condition because these were a pair of shoes that I used to stash underneath my desk and I just pop them on when I got to the office. Because I work in a much more casual environment now, I haven't really worn these that much, but I'm loath to let go of them because I do think that they're such a classic and I know that there's going to come a time when I'm going to want to wear these a lot. So I'm holding on to them, but they're incredibly well made. The leather is just so beautiful and soft. I really, really like them and definitely want to add more Celine shoes to my collection, that's for sure. I really like pointed toe pumps, which you guys will probably see. So this next pair is from Isabel Morant. These are the Poppy, well, I think they had a slightly different name, but they're the Poppy uh, heels. I got these from the Outnet, I believe. I got pretty lucky, actually, because um, I got a really good price for them, but they are a black suede, and they have a really nice heel height. These are super comfortable. These are sort of like my go-to black heel. I think they look really nice. They look great with every single outfit, um, and definitely the one that I sort of reach for when I want to jazz up my look a little bit more. Um, super comfortable as well. The last pair of closed toe heels before I move on to my sandals. Uh, this pair from Dior. So you guys might recognize these. I wore these on a wedding day. These are my wedding shoes. I will insert the video from that up here in case you guys haven't seen it yet. But yeah, they're a patent marble. I got these, I'd actually bought a different pair of shoes from Jimmy Choo that were a fabric. And then I realized, what if I spill a drink on my shoes? I don't want to ruin them. I want to be able to wear my wedding shoes after wedding day. So I ended up finding these. Again, I got these on the real, real, and they were brand new. Um, and yeah, they're great because since they are patent, if I dropped any wine on my shoes, I knew I'd be able to just wipe it off and they'd be like new. And they have a really good heel height. They're not as high as some of my other heels, which makes them super comfortable. So yeah, they're my little Dior shoes. I've got so many pairs of shoes, it's borderline ridiculous. Um, this next pair is from Philip Blim. These are the Katie heels, I think they're called. They've got this ankle strap. I wanted these for years and again, I found these on the real real. I think you guys can tell I tend to go on there and look for shoes that I missed out on. I remember Rumi Neely from Fashion Toast way back in the day. She had these and I actually think she had them in silver or in the Perspex, one or the other, and I thought they were so cool. And then I found them in the nude, which is a lot more of a kind of classic color for me and I really like them. I like the kind of Dorze cutout detail on the side. I think that's very cool. They've got a very chunky block heel. These I think are a nubuck leather so they do scratch or a natural leather. So they do scratch quite easily but I think that kind of just adds to the effect of the shoe. I think they're super comfortable. I have worn them in a blog post as well which I'll put a photo of it up here somewhere so you guys can see. But yeah, I think they're a really nice sort of different take on a nude sandal. This next pair is from Celine and these are some mules. I really like these. I like the silver heel and I like the khaki color. It's a little bit different to all of the other shoes that I have. I actually got these because I used to have a pair of shoes from Celine that had the same kind of heel. They were a little bit lower, but they were the most uncomfortable shoes I ever bought because the um, strap across the toe was very, very tight. These, on the other hand, are super comfortable and they just have this one little strap that sits across the toe very snugly and keeps your foot in place. So. Yeah, that's what those look like and they're pretty comfortable. I like the way these look with dresses and also with jeans, that sort of thing for a more kind of casual look. 
Now I have a few pairs of strappy sandals, two of them look basically the same. The first pair are these ones from Marge. So they have a sort of a braided strap across the foot and then they have that same sort of braided effect on the strap around the ankle and down the back of the heel. These are in a black suede. These are great. These are sort of like my go-to party shoes. I took these with me when I went to Dallas. I'll pop the... Um, video with my packing list up here. I actually did a whole post on Dallas as well which I can link in the description box below but these were great for the parties. I felt really comfortable in them and you can still dance and walk in them even after you've had a few drinks which is great for someone like me who's a total lightweight. So yeah I love these and they've got a really great heel height too. I'd say it's probably about nine to ten centimeters. So yeah they're a pretty good one and I managed to get these second hand as well so they were a bit of a bargain. Now, very similar to the uh, heels from Maj are these ones from Isabel Moran. Now, these kind of, because of the way I've done them up so that I don't lose the ankle straps, they're going to look a bit funny, but they have this metal bar that sits across the front of the foot, and these look incredible on. I'm going to say, though, that this metal bar cuts into your leg. It is not comfortable at all, so these aren't really the type of shoes that you wear for long walking long distances at all, because aside from that, they'd actually be really, really comfortable. But yeah, they've got the simple, very minimal strap across the toe. I did actually have to get these repaired because one of the straps came out while I was wearing them um, which as you can imagine is just a little bit of a nightmare thankfully I had a backup pair of shoes on my back otherwise I would have been at a loss but yeah nice heel height these ones are normal leather they're not suede but I really like the kind of minimalist, minimalist feel of these shoes and we've got another pair of ankle strap shoes. These ones are from Dear Francis. I actually haven't worn these out yet, but I bought them from Spring. I managed to get them at an incredible price because they were majorly, majorly on sale. I will link down below because I think they had them in other colors, but I love the combination of this sort of tobacco beige suede with the white mesh across the toe. I was inclined to get these after seeing them on Lizzie Hadfield from Shop From The Street. She has a really fantastic YouTube channel actually. I'll link it down below in case you guys aren't familiar with her but yeah I love the detail I haven't worn these out do I say that already can't remember but <laughs> they are pretty comfortable given the fact that they have an incredibly high heel but I really like them they seem to be constructed really well the only thing that I find bizarre is that the ankle strap is super long so it sort of wraps around I'm not sure if you meant to tuck it in the back there but I like that they've got this little sort of stitch detail on the heel so yeah that's these ones I just got a few more pairs of sandals to share and then I'll move on to flats. Um, this next pair is one of my favorite pairs of shoes that I own. It's the Angelica sandal from Alexander Wang. Now, I've worn these heaps in blog posts before. These are really comfortable actually as well. And unfortunately, um, they're not really part of the core collection of shoes that he designs. But I have seen them pop up on the Real Real before. So if I can find a pair, I will link them down below. I bought mine on sale from Barney's and I just I adore the color I think it's absolutely perfect it's sort of this apricot peachy nude um, but I like how they've got this sort of strap that sits up the front of the foot I think these look great particularly with anything white they're the perfect kind of summer sandal that's a little bit edgy and a little bit different to everything else that I have then I've got two pairs of mid-heeled sandals which you guys probably would have also seen a lot because I wear them heaps in the summertime. The first pair is this pair from Nicholas Kirkwood. Again, I bought these second hand but they're actually new from the Real Real. You can tell I buy a lot of shoes from there. <laughs> um, but I have been wanting a pair of Nicholas Kirkwood pointed toe pumps for ages with that kind of very iconic triangular block heel. But I haven't been able to find the pair I want and also, I mean, they are quite a splurge. When I spotted these at a really great price I couldn't say no. I really like the color. I think it's a great basic color to have in your wardrobe. Just a really beautiful tan. Um, I didn't think that this was going to be super flattering. The strap that sort of sits across the front of the foot um, it does kind of edge down slightly. I really like it actually and I think that it is super flattering. It doesn't cut your foot off and I think it just adds to the look of the shoe and again it has that beautiful gold heel. Such a statement. I love the way that it looks. They're one of my favorite pairs of sandals for summer. 
The other pair of mid heel sandals that I have are these ones from Sophia Webster. I bought these because I used to have a pair from Opening Ceremony that I absolutely thrash and I wanted something that I could wear with my more basic outfits. These are obviously a little bit special with these bobbles on the toe, but they're super comfortable nonetheless. I really like the beaded detail as well on the heel. I just think it's really special. It's very unlike anything else I have and they've just got a little strap that sits across the ankle. I do think that these are actually really flattering. I took these with me to Italy uh, and to the US last year and I love them. They are very comfortable, very easy to wear and I didn't get a single blister from them so yeah I just really like them and I think that they are kind of like an elevated take on this sort of stylish shoe. Okay, we're in the home stretch. We're onto flats now and I've just got three pairs and they're all from the same designer. They're all from Charlotte Olympia. I have a bit of a problem when it comes to Charlotte Olympia shoes. I actually used to have more flats but I recently sold a pair. But this first one are the Charlotte Olympia Kitty flats. Now I originally bought a pair of these uh, five years ago and I thrashed them. They were to the point where, you know, they'd torn here, they just looked absolutely worse for wear. Um, and I ended up getting a new pair from Luke for Christmas. It was an incredibly generous gift. I haven't actually worn these as much as the original pair that I got just because I do walk quite long distances to and from work and I'm not really in the habit of putting shoes in my bag to take to wear to work. But I do love these and they are ones that do come out on the weekend every now and then. I'm so glad I do have a new pair because these are one of my favorite favorite pairs of shoes ever and I think that they're a very flattering cut on the foot as well I think they're quite elongating on the leg now this next pair is from the Zodiac collection and they are the Aquarius flats from Charlotte Olympia. I don't know if you can buy these anymore but if I can find them I will link them down below. I really like these, they're a light blue. I'm an Aquarian so um, I kind of had to have these shoes. I sort of got them as a little bit of a birthday present to myself but they have that very typical kind of um, the pot with the water blowing out of it, um, metal detail here on the toe. They have the star um, sign embroidered here on the um, back of the shoe and yeah they've got that gold heel. These are a light suede so as you can imagine they're very very high maintenance which is why I don't wear them a lot because I don't want to damage them. I can already see I've got a little brown mark here which god knows what it's from. But <laughs> I love these shoes. I think they're so pretty and they look really, really cute with sort of all blue outfits or with white outfits in the summertime. And the final pair of designer shoes that I want to share with you guys are these from Charlotte Olympia again. So these are the Panda Flats. Uh, they were part of that Oriental collection that she did a few years ago. Again, I managed to get these on sale. I was very, very lucky. Um, they're a velvet just like the kitty flats and I sort of got them because I knew how much I wore the kitty flats and I thought these were just as adorable and I kind of felt that I would get as much wear out of these as I did with the kitty flats. That hasn't been the case because obviously I can't wear these with tights. They're a lot more of a statement and I just think that that makes them a little bit more difficult to wear but I do think that they will come out a bit more as the weather starts to warm out. I'm going to probably try and wear them with little white dresses and white skirts and stuff like that because I think it's a nice combo um, but yeah they're really cute. Cute. Again, they're super comfortable just like all Charlotte Olympia flats are and I didn't mention this before but they all fit true to size. Actually before I forget, all of the shoes that I mentioned are a European 40, that is my usual size and the Mark Fisher boots are a US 9. So every single pair that I mentioned I think fits true to size. So I actually forgot to include two pairs of shoes, the first being the Valentino Rock Studs. I have the Kitten Heel. These are incredibly comfortable. However, unfortunately, I just never pull them out to wear them. I think it's mostly to do with the fact that they have three straps that you need to do up at the ankle, and I feel like it's a little bit of a faff. The second pair are my Givenchy Sequin Pumps. I adore these shoes. I've had them for six years now, I want to say. I really love these. They are one of my favorite statement shoes and one I don't think I'll ever part with. So that's my entire designer shoe collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much if you managed to make it all the way to the end. I know that this was a long one. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it. And I'd love to know which pair of my shoes were your favorite. And if there are any shoes that you think I'm missing from my incredibly, incredibly generously large collection of shoes. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.